Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Soul Stained Ink. My name is Beth. I'm Elena, and this is Silly. And Elena and Silly are with me today to do a couple of book reviews for books that we have read for middle grade May. So we read... First one up is Mary Poppins. It talks about, like, Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins. Um, and she comes, like, in fall, I think. Yeah, she comes in the fall. And it's just a real amazing book. If you're really into Mary Poppins, then you should go try and find this book at your public library where you live. Very good. Um, most everybody knows the Mary Poppins story because we've seen the Disney movie. Um, this one watched Mary Poppins and Mary Poppins Returns. And when we saw the book at Walmart, we decided to give it a go. Now, it is very different from the movie. Yes, because it talks about um, the very first time that um, the Bake family um, gets to know Mary Poppins. And it's just a real cool book. It's just so a real cool you book. You should go check it out. Um, Mary Poppins is a little bit different than the one in the movie. The Banks children, there are four of them instead of two, although we don't really get to know the twins in this book. I think the second book is more about the twins. And that's also and kind of sad that you don't get to really know about the twins and like their names in the movie, yeah. In the movie, and you don't get to know about them that much in the book either. <coughs> so, but you do get to know they exist. Yeah. Um, and it's there are a couple of it. exciting adventures that they go on in the book that weren't really feasible for them to go on in the movie. Uh, so I definitely, I'm with her. It's an amazing book. You should check it out. How many stars do you give it? Out of 25,000 stars, I give it 25, 30 stars. Well, I was going to say one to five, but she gives it 25,000 stars. I gave it about a three and a half star. Um, I just love it I, so much. I think that it's a really well done book, but again, I am 34, not six. So, But it is a fabulous book, and you should definitely check it out. The other classic middle grade lit that we read was... It's called Anne of Green Gables and it's talking about um Anne she um in, winds up having no family so she goes to this place kind of oh, and it, she goes to Green Gables right she goes to Green Gables and it's a really really cool book but at the end what oh the, psh, no spoilers no spoilers I just okay them but don't the tell end. them there's a sad thing that happens mm -hmm. yes. but we watch Anne grow up she's I don't remember how old she is at the beginning 11 maybe yes 11 and uh, we watch her kind of grow up and she goes to uh, teacher school and this is written by Lucy Maud Montgomery we only read the first one. We haven't read Anne of Avonlea yet, but it is one of my favorite classic works of children's or middle grade fiction. Mine too, and it's and really, really cool. So check we it listened out. to the audiobook, and now I think I'm going to see if I can find the old Anne of Green Gables movie so that we can watch that together. Uh, I've heard Anne with any is good, but I am a traditionalist, and I'm so in love with the original movie that I want to show Elena that one and not the new versions full. But you know not to um, like spoil me because I don't want to spoil You it, know everything you? that's going to happen because we read the book. All right. Well, there might be a couple of changes in the book. Missing. There's really not. It's pretty close, actually. Um, out of five stars, how many do you give Anne of Green Gables? Five. I give it about four and a half. It's not perfect by any means, but this book is the reason why I first read and fell in love with uh, Tennyson's writing. This book is 
the reason why I studied a lot of different literature to begin with. Um, the library where I grew up, we used to go to the public library at the big town and uh, the big town 30 minutes away had an illustrated edition. So it was, it was not annotated. It was, or it was annotated, not abridged. There we go. An illustrated annotated, but not abridged version and I checked it out. I don't know how many times it had all the cool footnotes and little pictures. And I loved it. I can't find that copy, but I do have this one. And it also has Anne of Avonlea and Anne's House of Dreams in it. So we will probably be reading those sometime soon. What do you think, girls? Yeah? Silly so says she gives um, Anne of Green Gables 25 stars. And she says she gives Mary Poppins 1,020 stars. A thousand and twenty stars for this book for Mary Poppins. It's pretty good. So I would definitely <laughs> encourage you Poppins. to check out. Uh, we listened to End of Green Gables as a LibriVox recording, which is a public domain. You can get those uh, for free. But I did listen to it on script. You're shaking the camera, babe. We listened to it on script, but then uh, and we listened to audiobooks through our public library as well, and that's where we got Mary Poppins. Yeah. So and it's uh, a real cool book. We had really good audios for both of them. The text is easy to get through, and we highly suggest that you check that out. Yeah. But- now, if you have made it this far, now we have an announcement. Um, I know a lot of you have been asking about my health. We found out last week that there's a baby coming, and it's going to have the name Ray for the middle name. Yes. Uh, the middle name is going to be Ray. We don't know anything else. We found out last Monday I'm six months pregnant because uh, that one time... <laughs> That anything happened. Yeah. She's excited. I'm excited. Shaking the camera. I'm still in a lot of shock. But yeah, I am 25 weeks today and have known for one week. That she's pregnant. This is a happy day. Yeah. There's going to be two of that. (laughs) Yes, it is. We went today for the ultrasound, and uh, the technician said this was the most modest baby she had ever seen in her life. So it's been we have it's no been idea been what it is, other it's than the fact that it's pregnant. a baby. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's what it's like. that is the big announcement. Thanks for sticking around. We'll talk to you guys again soon. Until next time, hope you have a fabulous day and you read a good book. But we'll see you later. Before you stop. Um, I decide that you should check out both books at the same time so you can, like, read a chapter every night of both of them. She's a bossy little brat, isn't she? Bye now. Bye now.